You may have seen the headlines recently about how house prices have dropped in 80% of regions across the UK over 2023. And yes, it all looks very concerning, but before we all panic, in this video, let's run through the facts to figure out, is this as bad as it appears? And will house prices drop? in 2024. So let's get into it. Since 2013, I've spent my time building a nationwide home buying company and estate agency. And so this has been something I've been watching quite closely, as you can probably imagine. So to start, let's take a bird's eye view of how house prices have changed as an average over the last year. As an average, house prices have actually only dropped 1.1%, which although even small drops in house prices is not ideal, it is nowhere near the 8% drop in house prices Halifax predicted at the start. 2023. When we see these forecasts, we don't tend to look back to see how accurate they turned out to be. And let me tell you, the one thing that has been consistently wrong with forecasts has been the house price forecasts. And at the start of the pandemic, everyone was claiming the property market would crash, yet the exact opposite happened. The one thing forecasts have consistently got right wasn't about house prices, but actually about transaction volumes. Property transaction volumes have actually decreased 13% over 2023, which again, isn't ideal. But before we panic, let's look at the facts. Although transaction volumes were lower in 2023 than 2022, and then lower again in 2021, in fact, 2023 has seen the lowest transaction volume since 2012, which seems pretty awful. But let's look at these numbers differently by looking at the volumes over not the last year, but over the last three year periods. Over the last three years, so over 2021, 2022, and 2023, transaction volumes have actually increased 2% in comparison to the three years prior to that. So over the last three years, we have had almost exactly the same number of transactions than the three years prior to that. So in the same way we don't measure a company's success on one month's activity or one quarter's activity, you, you know, we're always, you know, you should always be looking to see the trend over many quarters or even years. In this case, transaction volumes in general have actually stayed pretty stable over the last few years. The shock has really been the sudden increase and then decrease in transaction volumes year by year over that last three year period. So what's my prediction on house price volumes this year? I'll get to that. First, let's have a closer look at this 1.1% average price drop in house prices. A great way to see what makes up this number is to break it down by region. So what this shows is Right Moves House Price Index for December 2023. So when looking at the far left numbers, you can see across every region in the UK, house prices have dropped in December compared to November. However, I'd personally take that with a pinch of salt as December tends to be a weaker month due to Christmas. The key thing to look at is that middle number, which shows the annual change in house prices. And in fact, seven of 11 regions across the UK have seen the house prices increase between 0.1% in London to 1.5% in the Northwest. The four of 11 areas that have seen prices drop have ranged from 0.9% drop in, in the Southwest to as big a drop as 3.7% in the Southeast. All these price changes are what have created the average drop of UK house prices of that 1.1% headline rate. So what does it all mean? Well, it means that despite massive increases in interest rates, inflation, and general cost of living pressures, despite the forecasts that prices would drop 8%, the property market has stayed quite stable. And my personal predictions for 2024 are that I expect one, house prices to drop no more than 1% and most likely stay stable or increase as an average by no more than 3%. That I expect transaction volumes to increase marginally to between 1.1 million to 1.2 million transactions a year, staying consistent with pre-COVID norms. Why do I think this? Because one, on average, mortgage rates have now fallen for 19 weeks in a row. Two, Bank of England interest rates have stabilized. And three, inflation has been consistently dropping. So all the indicators are showing that really 
The worst is behind us on interest rates and inflation. And importantly, repossession rates are actually still lower than they were pre-COVID. So when you look at the big picture, I'm actually conservatively optimistic about the 2024 property market. And the only way we're gonna know if I'm right or wrong is to watch this again at the end of the year. See you in the next video.